Hi guys! Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Leo and Leo, the relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with this couple. I pulled individual energy for Leo A and then there's individual energy for Leo B, right? And then we'll take a look at you guys as a couple. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into it. I don't know how long this is going to be. My goal with this is because I've been seeing like double signs, triple signs showing up. They're all the same. So it's like, who's who? So what I'm attempting to do is go ahead and pull the energy. In some cases, we're going to see that we have two creeps. And then in some energies, we'll find that we have an a-hole and we have a nice person or we have a creep and a nice person or whatever it goes, right? So we're going to take a look and see what's going on. I did pull three angel cards for you, Leo A. We're going to take a look and see what's going on here. Um, let's see, where are we? Yeah, now you guys have... Angel LaBelle, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but she came out before in one of the other reads. It wasn't necessarily for you, but she's a familiar angel here. In this case, yours came out reversed here. Leo, there's a possibility that you, Leo A, may have some physical disability or maybe you guys got hurt. There's something where you guys are healing from something, or in this case, it might take you a little bit longer to heal. Some of you may not be able to heal something, right? I feel like this is a physical inju an injury. For some of you guys, you're not going to be able to have any harmony in some situation. There's also something where you guys are mentally imbalanced. I feel like there are some things going on for you guys at this time. We also have, uh, we have Shaka, Shaka Kaya. Shavakia. We have Shavakia. Now, this is something here, Leo A. This is something where, I don't know if you, if there's something significant about September 13th through 17th. There's something here where you were supposed to get some kind of joy or you're going to recently receive some kind of joy, something from a Virgo or you guys have some encounters with a Virgo. Maybe you have Virgo in your chart here. There's something with reconciliation. You guys feel like you're going to be able to reconcile with somebody. I feel like this is a member of your family that you guys want to or are going to reconcile with. So maybe somebody born in September or maybe you have September, uh, maybe you have Virgo in your chart. We also have Daniel that comes out reverse for you now. This one is maybe you guys have somebody in your energy. There's something significant about November 18th through the 22nd. Some of you guys are asking for some mercy in this situation. There's not going to be any mercy in this situation. You will not succeed at convincing anybody of anything. It says here, this is imbalance. All right, so there's some situation, Leo A, that maybe you're in this drove, drove you crazy, right? Somebody's going to ask you why you did something. I don't know that you guys are going to be able to answer to why something was done. Some of you guys here are asking for mercy. Daniel Upright would be a sign of mercy. There is no mercy. It would be a sign that you would be able to convince somebody or a group of people of something to go your way. It is not going to happen. So maybe this will help you identify what Leo that is, right? We have that so far for Leo A. I'm going to put this right here. All right. I see that there's something coming up. There's something about a Virgo and there's something about some Scorpio energy, but it could just be those dates here, November 18th through 22nd, September 13th through 17th, whatever that means to you. Now I'm going to pull these just while I'm here. Leo B, we're going to have to take a look at you now. Let's take a look. We have... Mm, Velaya, I know I'm saying that wrong. Now, this Leo, there's something here where this is an angel of prosperity. She works with you. She looks after you. She encourages you to be satisfied with what you have. She encourages you to focus on inner wealth. There's something where prosperity and inner, there's some sort of inner wealth. I feel like you guys, this is going to be expressed to the outside world, but you guys have something internally in you that you need to focus on. It encourages you to be satisfied and recognize Leo A, Leo B, that you have everything that you need already. And I feel like as you use these things that you have already, there's going to be more wealth and prosperity that comes to you. So Leo B, you're looking at prosperity and wealth where we have Leo A who's looking at something with the angel of healing they're not going to be able to heal something so right there we see two differences between these leos all right now we also have for you rochelle she comes out reverse this is an angel scorpio you guys might have somebody uh in your energy here or maybe you have a pisces in your chart because it says here there's supposed something about okay there's somebody in your energy this date is march 1st through 5th there's something about restoration 
this card came up reverse. So Scorpio, there will be no restoration. Either this is your opinion or whatever this is with this Pisces, you're not restoring anything with this person, right? For some of you guys, you are not dealing with this person because you're using your sharp intuition to do something. So if you really look at this, it looks like, oh, it's reverse. No, that's not it at all. It confirms that whatever was done to a Scorpio or whoever this is in your energy with this date, that protects people from March 1st through 5th, these people are not, they're not protected. There's no protection here. It protects people. It does not protect you because it came up reversed here. It also goes on to say that you maybe you in this situation, Leo, or somebody else in this situation did not trust their intuition. It could be this Pisces energy that shows up. It says that this person in your energy is unable to remove the karmic element of who they are. So I feel like you guys aren't dealing with them for whatever reasons, Leo B. We also have here, I'm going to try this. Let's see. Nimanaya, Nimanaya. Now this one here, it actually came out upright. There's something significant about January 1st through 5th. Again, it confirms Leo B's prosperity. Mm -hmm. Prosperity and success. This is something with an angel who provides extra insights. They help you move a certain way so that you're able to gain the success. So I feel like you guys are in a way of prosperity. Those are the cards coming up for you. Prosperity. Yup. And there's also some confirmation here because I feel like whatever this is here with this in this March energy, I don't know that you have good vibes. It's, it's out reversed here and it's saying that there's no protection now. I'm looking at a Leo. So Leo, I don't know who this person is in your energy, but they are, they have no protection. They're not protected. And then on top of that, you have Leo A over here who's not going to be able to heal from something, right? That's one of the differences. We also see here that this person um, is looking to reconcile with somebody who's a Virgo or some Virgo energy or something significant happening between September 13th and 17th, right? Something like that. But we also see here there's something with somebody born under the sign. Somebody in November is not going to forgive this Leo. So I feel like this Leo over here has some karma that they're dealing with. But Leo B, I feel like there's somebody in your energy who has karma. You don't have to accept this person in. You do not. You don't have to do anything to this person. It's just confirmation that this person is not going to be able to have the sunny days maybe that they had before. This is not going to happen, right? So we have that energy coming up for you guys. We're going to go ahead and get into your read here. See if we can finish identifying who is who. I will tell you this. Just go right into it. Leo A. When I look at the dynamic of this relationship, can I say that this is romantic? I, I could, but no. I could. But the scenario as it plays out, I mean, there are emotions here. We do have the four of cups that comes up reverse for you. But other than that, I really don't see too many emotions. I see more action. <clears throat> Leo, in this read here, it says that there's been some sort of indirect communication. Perhaps you've been communicating with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini in some situation it wasn't with your leo you're communicating with so there's some communication here it is indirect you're being advised to understand that nothing is what it seems so you may believe a situation is one way leo a and it is not you see something that appears purple it appears green but it is actually orange for some of you guys you are operating within an operation i want you to understand what that means some of you guys are i hate to say it somebody's looking at you there's this need for you guys to Move a certain way. You guys are overconfident at this time. You guys are being advised to be mindful of being overconfident because it's going to do you in. It's imprudence, right? You guys are being advised that you need to use discretion and discrimination in everything you do. The only way for you to achieve something, get away from something, run away from something, get away with what you're trying to steal here, is if you move a certain way, right? It's kind of like oblique, an oblique approach. There's something here where there's theft. There's betrayal. There's something with dirty dealings. For some of you guys, you're trying to move away from this, right? Some of you are moonlighters. What does that mean? That means I have a Monday through Friday as an example, but I also have some things that I might do at night. Like I might get on YouTube at night and I might, I don't know, read some cards to you. Or some of us might put an ad online and go sleep with people for money, right? That's what I'm getting here. I feel like there's some theft. There's some betrayal. There's some misrepresentation of a situation. This is what I'm getting here. So I feel like whoever this Leo is, I feel like at one point they were working a job, but they also had these side jobs, a side duty, a side woman, side man. I don't know. Lover man for money. Lover girl for money. I don't know. 
couple hours after work, maybe you go get your cash up in a hotel. I don't know what you do, but there's moonlighting and that is an example. Somebody else who takes on extra tasks or has another job after their main income earner, whatever. I also see here, because I see you guys trying to steal something, get away with something, all of this so you could achieve some kind of goal. There was something that you were trying to take. From the looks of it, I'm going to say there was something that you were trying to take having to do with the Ten of Pentacles here for this other Leo that comes up, right? If I look at it that way. You guys, the Magician card comes up for you. So Leo, you were trying to get away with something. Let's just get to the point, right? You were using discretion. You were trying to use discrimination as you chose who you were going to work with, who you were going to approach to help you do something. Again, this is about theft. First card out. Now, we also have the magician that comes up for you guys here. So let's take a look at that. You guys took some sort of an important trip. This was this happened during a time just before an important trip. For some of you guys, this felt like it was supposed to be like in a, a vacation, but it really wasn't a vacation. It was work, but it felt like it was fun, right? Because you were supposed to get into something. It was some sort of a gathering here that shows up. It says that you brought the family with you so you can make some magic happen. For some of you guys, you have a family that you put a ritual on or there was a family who did rituals. Maybe some of you guys did rituals with a Gemini or even a Virgo. That's what it looks like, Leo. Looks like you got a family together. They had a big name in there. The devil tricked you. Yep, you jumped up off your pulpit and jumped right into the presto stick. But apparently you've been doing this for a long time. As you are a part of a secret society, as you are probably, there are some of us who are, I don't know, part of some secret society, which is not so secret. It's like the public secret. So I feel like this Leo gathered up some family members and they may also be a part of an organization, perhaps the Eastern Stars, Mason, something like that, right? That's who this Leo is. This Leo also is a magician, right? So they have focused creativity. What does that mean? Just like they said, they're going to reach out to contacts that they have from the past. They are going to reach out people from the past at work. I worked with you 20 years ago at the phone company down in New Haven where they were starting rumors and saying all this stuff about me. It was a lady named Lucy that was talking a bunch of crap about me. She spread all these rumors about the phone company, about me. That's what that lady named Lucy did down there, right? So you gathered all these contacts from back in the day and up until today. And you gathered them all and you said, listen, we're going to have to get this here, Ten of Pentacles. That's what we're going to do. Everybody got together. Everybody maybe thought they were the cookout. You start saying some stuff. Maybe, oh, let me pray for you. You start laying some of that oil on some of their heads. That was a spell, y'all. That was not this woman laying no oil on your head. If you let her or Kay put something on your forehead... That is the devil. That's not, that's, I'm telling you, everything that I've said so far has come true. So you ain't, you don't have to trust me, but I want you to understand that when I say something, my work comes right. It comes true. Okay. So I want to be very clear about that. When I tell you, Kay, putting oil on your forehead, that woman ain't right. And Jeanette ain't right either. That's just an example. But those are the devils. These are the people doing magic, gathering up family members and doing rituals. Okay. So these people are jumping off stages just so I can set the tone for who these people are. This is a person who's going to pretend like they are a preacher or something like that. They're going to pretend like they're somebody who wants to advance the community. I want to work with you. Or they're going to come to you and say, I got this daughter and she's over there doing black magic. What she don't want to tell you is she's jealous of the daughter who ain't really her daughter. She don't want to tell you she was laid up with the girl's father. Never said nothing. They made the girl believe that she was the mother. And she did the black magic on the stomach every chance she could. She look at the stomach. You're very vain. And then she took, that's the spell that they're putting on you. So that's her fertility spell. That woman been doing, even when I was little, I remember we were driving from the University of Bridgeport. Because she took classes there. And I remember she came up with a book. It had a character on it. When I look at that character today in a regular traditional tarot card, it was a magician card. I never knew what that crap was. I never knew. So they've been doing this for a long time. Her and Teresa, they've been doing it a long time. And K2. So I'm just telling you, don't you put, don't let that woman touch you, put no oil on your head. I'm telling you. And then she's going to turn around and go right to jail in front of everybody because she's too bold. She want to get away with the money. You ain't getting away with nothing, sister. You're exposed. Ain't nobody checking for you. Ain't nobody covering for you. You got all these people jammed up and going to jail because of your selfishness. You got your kids in prostitution rings because of your selfishness. 
You are a disgusting, literally you're a disgusting pig. You are, you're a pig. You're nasty. You compromised all your children. You're selfish and all for what? So you could have a house? The white picket fence is not about a house. It's about one's mind. That's how ignorant. You're an ignorant, ignorant, bold devil, and you deserve everything you get. I'm just saying. So along with that, we see this devil over here doing magic with the family, right? Initiating a family so that they can get prosperity. So this person, this demon over here, let's just call this, this demon maybe somebody's mother. Because if I look at this read, it specifically tells me that this, this is a family, right? So this is a family. It could be a husband, a wife, but I really feel like these are family members that are, there are two different family members that maybe fall under Leo. You got one that is clearly a demonic spirit. And then you have the other one here who's getting some kind of justice, justice for the heinous crap that this one over here did, right? And honey, when I tell you this woman gonna pay, she paying for all three of the kids. She ain't just paying for what she did to me. She gonna pay for running that girl through the prostitution ring. She gonna pay for letting that boy run up and down the church with different women. And she's also gonna pay for letting that boy sleep around, all right, with whoever the, the unusual desires or whatever that was because she knew it. And that's why you paying for it right now, sis. That's all I'm saying to you. I ain't never spoke no lie and I ain't gonna sit here now and lie. Yeah, something is wrong with you. You're going to go to jail and you're going to bust hell wide open exactly the way you ought to. You cannot. You ain't getting away with this. Not if I got it. I'm going to put you on this here internet. Mm, everybody going to know your name. Fame. Ain't that what they say? Yup. Everybody going to know. Every time they, they type your name in, devil, they're going to know about the child abuse. They're going to know about what you did to your kids. They're going to know about you running prostitution rings and trafficking. So you were trying to provide some magical time for your family or whatever this is, initiating a family into some sort of an organization, promised prosperity. This is you meeting up with those old contacts, getting the party together, the vacations together, right? We see that. Now, I will say for you guys, we also have the four of cups that comes up reverse. So I see that you've taken all these measures to get this going, this whole plan or whatever you got going on here. The four of cups comes up reverse and all of a sudden you're in this state of indecision. You can't decide about some issue. There's something where you want to make up your mind about something. The cards are saying here that you need to make up your mind so you can see what's going to be better for you in the future. Because I feel like you may have gotten caught up in something here. This magician card here with you using people to do a ritual. Yep. For some reason, I feel like it was a surprise involved. There was some surprise that showed up in this, some unexpected element that showed up in this. For some of you guys, it could have been a Virgo that showed up. For some of you guys, this is something the unexpected element would be. Maybe you guys got caught or got scared of getting caught stealing something here with this theft and betrayal. Whatever this is, it left you sad. It left you in a state of indecision and you're refusing to make up your mind about a matter. This is about a card of choice. So some of you guys, you have an opportunity to brood over what went wrong with this. I know something. Weird. I'm going to find out what went wrong with that. I think I understand what went wrong. You tried to steal something. You tried to do rituals. And it looks like your plans ran out of steam right here. But we also have the justice card that comes up for the other Leo. So let's look and see if we can tie this together. We see that Leo A stole something. It was theft, betrayal, prostitution rings, uh, sending people overseas, using my name or whatever. Stuff like that, right? So they could get access to something. We see that this Leo A, this Leo B gets some kind of justice in a situation or the justice system steps into this matter. Now, Leo B, this card warns you. It warns you from staying away from your inner self, like ignoring your inner self, right? Ignoring your own intuition. There's something where there's going to be some sort of a resolution that comes up for a situation that you had. There's something where you guys are... There's going to be something with balance in the scales with justice. So when, when, cause and effect, whatever was done, however it was done, is going to be balanced out for you, meaning you're going to get your just due. For some of you guys, this is a legal matter. For some of you, you feel like you were treated unfairly in the situation at some point by your partner, Leo A, because they tried to steal something from you, is evident. But now you get some kind of justice. Now, for some of you guys here, this is going to cover anything from property claims to employment. So Leo B, you get justice in all situations, justice. So that is justice is whatever you deserve. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, it's good or it's bad or whatever you did. It's equivalent to whatever was done. So if you did good, your justice will be good. If you did bad, 
You're going to get your behind smack. Like, it's going to be justice. You're going to go pick your own switch. I totally don't believe in that. You're going to go pick your own switch. Let me stop. But there's something with the justice card that comes up here, right? Now, for some of you guys here, you're going to deal with the challenges right off the bat rather than denying anything or pretending like it doesn't exist. You guys are going to get your justice when you deal with some situation. I will say this could be medical too for some of you guys. I see where somebody may have had a surgery at some point. I see something with back pain. There's poor renal function. Somebody might have metabolism, metabolism issues. And this is also law and this is resolution. So some of you guys might be in a justice system. Perhaps, Leo, you had an encounter with a Libra or something's in court. We have the Ten of Pentacles. It comes up for you, Leo B. Ten of Pentacles. This is the happy card. Solid, secure life. And I feel like you're going to get that justice, right? This is you planning to build some sort of a new home or for some of you guys, it's going to be a second vacation home that you get to build. This is where you're focused on yourself and you're focused on your family. This Ten of Pentacles allows you to have the leisure to focus on your own things. Myself, I don't have to worry about, you know, the job and all this other stuff because you guys have enough money where you'll be able to live, heal, whatever it is you're trying to do. You're going to have an opportunity to do it. The good thing is you're also going to be able to, I guess, pick a place to live when you do it. It says you're buying more property or something or somebody's buying more property or rebuilding something, something with the family. So I feel like for some of you guys here, this might also mean shared dividends. This is some money coming in. It's like an inheritance coming in from shared dividends, uh, wealth over time from a family. It's kind of like a legacy. This could even be from a relative or a friend. But it's the Ten of Pentacles, so you guys get justice in that. But the Seven of Wands here, courage. <clears throat> I, I'm sorry about that, guys. I don't know if this Leo, because it says justice. It says you are getting justice with the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. I don't know what the sequence is. I don't know if you've already received justice. I don't know if you've already received the Ten of Pentacles. But it says you're going to continue to fight for what it is you believe in. So for some of you guys, you get justice, you get the Ten of Pentacles, and you still keep fighting for what you believe in. That's what I'm talking about. I like that. But for some of you guys, this is still a fight. Like, I want justice. I want my Ten of Pentacles. I'm still fighting. I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. After I fend off the competition, there's profit. For some of you guys, this Ten of Pentacles that you have, you're going to reinvest it. You're going to bring home the bacon. Somebody's about to be paid, like, for real. But you guys are coming out of some sort of complacency here. You guys are ready to face the challenges. For some of you guys, your goals are still worth pursuing because somebody tried to make you feel like they weren't. And we see here that you end up with prosperity twice. The angels say twice you get prosperity. I do feel like for you guys, you could still be left in a place where you're trying to figure something out here about a person or somebody in your energy needing to disclose something to you, but you have prosperity. Even though there may be something that you don't get, don't understand. Who is that sign for y'all? Let me see. This is Leo B, right? Yeah, January. Something having to do with January. Is this for how long? Nope, that's the other one. All right, you guys, there's something having to do with y'all. Where is Nimina? Look at me, Nimina. I don't, know, I don't even know which one this is. Something happening in January, something happening in March, in September. Whatever that is for y'all. But the Seven of Wands comes up. You guys are willing to fight for what it is you believe in. This is about self-defense. This is you up against the competition. So some of you are still fighting. Some of you guys are going to be paid and still fight. For some of you, it's just your cause. You fight. Like, that's how I do. That's how I am. That is my passion. I want justice. I fight for justice. Okay. The common energy that plays out between you guys here, two of pinnacles. There's going to be some kind of message that comes in about money in a written form. You're going to be given two different options. You have to choose which one you want to take. This has to do with financial matters. Some of you guys, this is about you being able to put an end to moonlighting or making a final decision about how you want to make your living. For some of you guys, this also means that you are in an extremely volatile financial situation. Maybe you don't have a ton of money, but I see that we have one Leo here who is fighting for that money and we have the one, we have the other one here doing magic to get their money. So whenever the Leo energies come up, maybe we'll have a better idea of which Leo. We have a Leo who's a thief. 
and they're going to use a group of people, contacts from the past, associates from the past. They're going to call up the people from the projects. They're going to call up the people from the phone company. They're going to call up the people from the churches that they've been through. They're calling up everybody because that's who they are. They want everybody to come down to the cookout. And then they're going to say, let me pray for you and put some oil on your head. The oil, I'm telling y'all, that, that oil, you can ask anybody that knows me. I always pulled that off my head. It felt wrong with the person of us. It's the part, I was like, son, why are you always so adamant? And then she was, oh, oh may the Lord break you. Some she used to say to me, oh, we're going to pray you to the end of the altar or something. The whole time, these women was witches up there uh, practicing black magic the whole doggone time. Masquerade in the church. It was a masquerade. Hold up. Yep, masquerade in the church. Hold up, let me put this back on. Let's get this to come off of here. Hi, y'all. Wait a minute, what did I do with the thing? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Uh, where did this thing go? Sorry about that, y'all. Hold on real quick. I can't. I have to keep my frequency going. All right, hold on. Yeah, I just wanted to y'all to know who is where <clears throat> in the reads. All right, so let me just take a look and see what else was going on here. Where did them cards go? Is it, I don't feel like this is love. Somebody's in a state of indecision. Maybe there's a Leo here that needs to make a decision about a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio, or you, Leo. Leo A could be trying to make a decision about Leo B. Possibility. Possibility. What was Leo... What was Leo A trying to steal, please? What was Leo A trying to steal? Because I see they did some kind of ritual. I see it's a ritual that was done. I cannot say it was dark magic. It didn't come out reverse. But what they did was they did regular magic, which is the intention and initiating of something, right? So they got a group of people together, the family. Got some kids in there praying around in a circle and holding hands. That was not... that. Yeah, let me tell you, that, that woman to say something and mean something completely different. She said, I want all my children to be all right. I was never her child. That's why she kept saying that to me. She didn't really care if I was part of the mix or not. That's obvious. And the cards say that she relocated and took off. Why are you taking off? You shame? Don't be shame. You did it. What you shame for? You don't want nobody to know? You don't want your church people to know all that you was doing, stealing money and stealing social security numbers and letting Densmore use up the so all types of men or evil that you going right to hell for. Well, I know you could be in hell burning right now. I don't know where you are. I sure don't, but I know you shame because I know you. I know you. I'm going to cut you at the knees, devil. I'm going to cut you. Make sure you get cut. And cut one knee at a time. One cap off at a time. I'm going to make sure you bleed. Yeah. Remember that. Now, what is old Leo here hiding? This devil. Oh, look. Ain't this? Oh, she hiding. She's hiding that she got to change something. There's some changes coming about. There's a Leo here who maybe um, there's something. First of all, there's a couple of things with this card. First of all, this Leo could possibly have had sex on the road at some point in their life and got knocked up. They didn't want nobody to know about it. This is somebody who went on the road. It was highlighted the lights and darks of the trip that they took. They were well aware of what they were. This is a possibility that you're going to, you know, be able to pray your way through and meet the Lord and be happy and be in peace. Or the other one is you get the party and, and all this other stuff. This one chose the party. This one is now trying to get control of their life, but there's something with a new car. They might be having a new car, something with sex on the road here. The dark side of their personality could have been illuminated. This person is now trying to gain control of their life. There's something here where car insurance, it could be about a car, car insurance or something like that. Something with a car. They may be immobile or they were. Somebody could have stole a car. There's something about a car here. So, because I said, what did you steal? It could have been a car. Somebody's identity for a car. Somebody did something with car insurance. What else did this Leo steal? Somebody did something with car, a car insurance, right? That's where you would get a $200 complaint. Uh, insurance compliance fee out the blue sky even though you got insurance like somebody that would just go into the system and do some shit like that right give me more so somebody did something shady with a car makes perfect sense what else did they steal 
Mm, okay. They did something where they were operating out of egotism. Somebody has bad health. Somebody was being greedy. That's why they did something. Somebody wanted, somebody wanted all the rewards without doing any work. So they tried to take the easy way out of something. They want fast results. I want fast money. They did something because they wanted fast money. Something having to do with the car. Some kind of theft. Give me more. What else did Leo steal? We also have here, okay, so this is something with a judge. They were working with a judge on something. There's a deadbeat judge or they were working with a deadbeat dad. There was something where they had problems with power. There was an abuse of power. This Leo could be somebody who's in a corporate environment here. There was an abuse of power. There's something that they did out of maturity, out of immaturity. This is actually pride before the fall. So they did something. And they were doing it with pride, and now they're about to fall. So I feel like this is something that may have been done before. Poor, poor planning, ego, ego issues. This could have been a judge who's psycho or a judge who's corrupt. But I feel like this is some corporate employee or a judge who's corrupt. They were working with a judge or somebody in the legal system who was corrupt. <clears throat> somebody that could have been susceptible to bribery. They also did something. This is this Leo. This Leo also did something out of just being straight, mean, cold, and aggressive. They were working out of anger. They were being the queen of wands in a situation. All right, this is somebody who is nasty. This is somebody who could possibly be a mistress, maybe jealous about love, whatever. Here's Leo Sagittarius, queen of wands, reverse. Somebody who's selfish, dependent. They want money. They don't care about nothing else. It could be a part of the family, this queen of swords. It could be a mother, mother-in-law. They wanted their money. They didn't care about nothing else, right? It could be a bad mother, though. A queen of wands is somebody who's a bad mother, somebody who's sleeping around. I don't want to say sleeping around for money in the sense that like Queen of Pentacles reverse because she's a sex worker, but the Queen of the Queen of Wands reverse, she's more like a hoe. I'm in it for ends. I'm in it for this bread. Like your money got to be long enough. You got to be able to do something for her. So she wanted them chicks, right? We got that. Now let's take a look at this other one. Who's this other one over here? Leo B. What's going on with you? What do, do we need to know anything? You ain't steal nothing though. Uh, where are you now? You broke or I don't want to say. Uh, well, oh, okay. We had the Queen of Swords. We got somebody that you're dealing with. You're still dealing with a cold, rigid person. Somebody cold and rigid is in your... They're causing you challenges here. That's the Queen of Swords. This could be somebody who's a judge. Just like the Queen of Wands, that's somebody different. The Queen of Swords is somebody who could be a judge. It could be a dishonest judge with an opinion. It could be a dishonest judge. Or it could be an, a, a judge with an opinion who's very moral. But it's not easy to sway this judge, right? I don't want to say they're cold, but when it comes to certain things, they may have a certain opinion and you better operate a certain way. Otherwise, they're going to throw the book at you. But otherwise, this could be some nasty person who's going to tell you off, right? She's a B and she's dishonest. That means that she's a liar. For some of you guys, the cards are saying this person is dull, boring, doesn't have any personality. Because the Queen of Wands upright is somebody who's confident. Confident, they move right. This person does not. They move shady. Yeah, you know, somebody who wanted a new start here. Somebody, so there's a queen of swords here. There's something about a new start. Somebody was a cold person and they're rigid. They didn't want somebody to have a new start. Ten of swords, somebody was supposed to be down. Leo, I think Leo B, you were supposed to be down. This person, this queen of swords reversed here, wanted you down in some situation. They wanted you physically harmed. I feel like you didn't get any physical harm. I feel like you escaped that, but this person could be pissed, but this is a state of recovery. For some of you guys, you're recovering from a situation and you're moving on, all right? After, maybe you're the queen of swords in this situation right now, towards this situation, but I really feel like it was a queen of swords here, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, who's doing some F stuff to you, being mean, or this could have been Leo doing it to you in the queen of swords reverse energy. They were in queen of wands reverse energy, so why not? One more. Yep. All right. So somebody's going to apologize here. There's a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini that wants to apologize to Leo. What's really funny is all three cards that come up there are swords. So we have somebody here who wants to apologize to Leo. So you guys see here, we have one Leo that comes across as a bit corrupt, right? They're stealing with the first card. They're just, you know, thievery in the first freaking card. So you see who you're dealing with. This person's got legal problems. They're in front of the judge, seeing the judge, the queen of wands. They're probably there for child support bugging somebody they're probably there because you know for whatever reasons right maybe they didn't get paid for the sex that they rendered i don't know i don't know three of swords what's up with three of swords and this other leo what do we need to know what are they apologizing for what is the queen of swords wanting to apologize for what is the queen of swords wanting to apologize for 
Oh, they want to apologize for the three of cups. Oh, somebody may have had a new child or a new uh, project. They want to apologize maybe for sleeping with your person and having a new baby or something like that. It says a new child, new project and heading for happiness. Somebody wants to cleanse their soul after they stole your partner, right? So we see one Leo that's been beaten the ground. They've been treated horribly, right? With the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords, they're recovering from it. Then we have the Three of Swords where somebody wants to apologize for the Three of Cups for some sort of celebration that ended up in somebody having a baby or something like that, a new child. Yep, and it was some teamwork doing it. So the four of wands, somebody had a celebration. Somebody was teamworking when they did this. Somebody may have stole your partner. Yep. Yep, while you were working. All right, so we see the kind of folks that are coming out here. We got a Leo that's a thief. And then we have another one that comes across as, you know, the one that's been done wrong in a relationship. But there's not going to be any peace for this Leo A. This Leo A seems to think that they got away with something. You ain't got away with nothing. Because, you know, if you did, I don't understand why you'd be relocating. Are you relocating to the, the local nursing home? Or because it says you moving far away. Now, the last conversation I recall having with you when we talked about something like that. I said, you know, that Bible that you were talking about, that Bible says we all going to have to move one day. Oh, no, I'm not going nowhere. This is my house and my husband. And you know, she, you should have heard. She was going on and on about how great and how she was. Well, it looked like to me you got the move, sis. I don't understand that. You were so all oh, this and that bragging, pride before the fall. My kids ain't never been arrested. Well, look like to me your kids all over the news now and it's your fault. So, I don't understand you. You was all the bragging. Where's all the bragging? Because you sure is quiet now. And maybe, maybe you're just being quiet to me because you sold me to the coven and told them that they could record me in the house or whatever you was doing. Whatever you did, I know you're so, ooh, I know you burning in hell right now. Even if you ain't make it there yet, I know, I know you feel sick to your stomach that the whole world know. And they, I know they shame. They tell about you everywhere. Down in Trinity Temple, you got even a big mega church is talking about you. They're like, who is this crazy woman over there abusing the kids? I will leave my dog with you. You're an abusive, disgusting pig. That's exactly what you are. I'm being nice to you today. See, I ain't said nothing for the last couple of days. I ain't said nothing to you. But if you think you're going to uh, breathe pretty on my watch, honey, you done lost your mind. I'm going to tell it all. And I know you. I know you. I know you shame. You shame because you got caught. You ain't sorry. You greedy. You always been greedy, nasty, controlling. And the funny thing is your two kids thought that they was going to trap me up in that house, wiping you behind for the rest of my life when you wasn't even my mother. That was the trick. I'm my daddy's child. I ain't yours. There's no way. There ain't no way we got the same. We don't. There ain't no way. There's not me and you. We don't. You are the nastiest. You're going to reap what you, Oh, I can only imagine. I know you sick to your stomach over there. I know your banking accounts is frozen. You think you hiding. You ain't hiding. You can go down and move to Florida. You can move wherever you want. Your name is still all over the internet. You thought you was getting me. You thought you were targeting me, and now you're the target. Look at You see how that works? You see how that works, and all the church folks know it. And I'm 100% pure drop, just so you know. I'm not going to come up here and lie about nothing. I ain't got nothing to lie about. My work speaks for itself. So when my work and her behavior adds up, and you see that woman off in handcuffs, if she ain't dead already... It is what it is. Don't say I ain't tell you, but I've been telling her all along. I've worn this woman for years. I said something ain't right about you, but she kept on and kept on doing her magic and kept on up there in that pulpit preaching and lying. And then she put that devil up there as the dog going past her. I almost passed out. When she appointed that boy past her, I was just walking around with the drummers and staying out. Of, I ain't going and I sure left up out of there. Yep. Because they made it uncomfortable for me because they ain't want me there. Because, you know, the longer you stay around somewhere, you get to pick up on the latest business operations. So she ain't want me there. And she know I don't agree with that crap. I don't agree with none of it. And I hope you get your just due. I really do. I hope everything works out for you just how you wanted it to work out for me. Remember that? When you stopped out of the blue sky, you just stopped talking to me. I don't matter because you were stealing my money. You're a thief. You're a liar, Janetta Copeland Beasley. You're a thief and a liar. And I want the world to know... Janetta Copeland Beasley, a lion thief. You from the Canal Street Projects over there, right? You running a prostitution ring over a living water gospel in Hamden. Just a, a disgrace. You enjoy your fall from grace, ma'am. I want you to enjoy covering up for your king who's a pedophile or whatever he got going on. Your daughter who's prostituting all over the place and having babies. 
testing all these men, men all over the internet got to be tested to see if they're the daddy. You ought to be shamed. You are a piece of sh <laughs> You know you are. I, I, you know the garbage. I'm glad, though. If you are still alive, I'm real glad that you're able to see this, this train wreck that you gave birth to. Look at this mess. The kids all diseased up. You know, you got a secret lifestyle. You get off to the pulpit, and you, I guess you pull off your preaching robe, and then you go hop over into the sack with many different men and women. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm glad you ain't nowhere near me. You're a disgrace, and you, you, you are a complete disgrace. You are a disgrace. You are the trash of our community. You really are. You are garbage, and I just wanted people to know who's who in the read. Well, you're the piece of crap over here in row A, just so you know. I just want to confirm you are garbage. You are. You, you, your behavior is disgusting. You have compromised all of your children, right? I ain't your kid, but the other two that I guess you had, I mean, you ain't do too good. You suck, dude. You suck. Like, you're like the worst. I don't know. I, I don't know who legally even handed you. This is something wrong, but something wrong. First of all, how are you going to hide somebody... Like, my whole life. How are you just going to sit there and hide me? Like, how does that make sense? You paying all these people, but you leave me over here with nothing while you living it up, right? See, that's the part. And then you're going to tell people I'm a disabled or what the hell, what? I'm incapacitated. What? I'm on the radio every day. Like, it, I could talk one minute and make more sense than everything you'll say in 30 minutes. It just... You're, something ain't right with you. You ain't got it all. But you you going to jail. And you ain't getting off in no mental hospital either. Because I think that, if I'm not mistaken, one of the reads said that you was seeking treatment. You have to get some treatment because you ain't feel good. I guess you're going to lie and say your back hurting, your asthma's kicking in, all types of lies to stay out of jail. But you were still paying because up until today, right? You were still throwing magic even last night. I read, I can see everything that you do. So you around here telling these folks, oh, I don't do that. All I do is preach on... No, you don't, devil. You the devil and so is your son. And that's why you done lost everything you had. You reap what you saw. I know them white folks is glad you the hell up out their neighborhood if you ain't gone already. <laughs> if, you, if you are gone, I don't know. Whew, child. Whew. Technically, that's my house. That's my daddy's house. You should have gave me my house, but, you know, you was trying to be funny. I would have kept it. I would have kept the lawn done and everything, but you was trying to be nasty. So you reap what you sow. I want you to enjoy yourself. You enjoy your fall from grace. You and Dinsmore stealing identities. You ought to be shamed. I will tell you it's confirmation, right? This is confirmation for y'all. This is the thing. Every day I called all these people went to the courthouse and I was there. The number of people that I saw at the courthouse on a date that I was supposed to go First of all, I want to say nothing is a coincidence. It was people from every job that I've ever had, literally. And it's so unlikely. You only see things like that if you go to jewelry duty. You'll take a look at your first and last name, and you may see like three or four classmates that actually show up, and you guys have like the first, the same initials or something, right? It was like that. It was so many people. It was so many people. It was just like, okay, this is definitely about this secret court case where I'm supposed to be incompetent, never had a job. I'm supposed to be dead, even though I have a solid resume. It just doesn't make any sense. So that woman is off. I, 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 yeah, I hope you burn right in hell where you belong, sis. Right in hell. I want you to get all the shame you deserve. I want these church folks to talk about you like a dog because they ought to. You and the gossip and the lying and money laundering it's about time that you had a fall because you've done some nasty stuff to people for a very 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 long time and you thought you was gonna close your eyes and get away with it oh no not on my watch sis i'm gonna drag you to the ends of the earth until you get the lesson apparently you ain't got the lesson yet right all right i love you guys bye